welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I thought it would be fun to sit down and journal with you guys. I do a lot of real time journaling over on Patreon, but I feel like it's been quite a long time since uh, we've done that together here on YouTube. So I thought we could work in my December journal a little together and just chat and catch up. So grab yourself a hot beverage and uh, your journal and we shall get into it. I have a couple things here, some photos I just printed that I need to put into my journal as well as a little uh, bit of uh, wrapping paper and a card and stuff that one of my lovely patrons sent to my P.O. box. Um, if you want to send me something, you absolutely do not have to, but I do now have a P.O. box where you can do that, linked in the description box below. So, again, please don't ever feel like you have to, but I do get asked for it, so uh, now that I have one, I like to let people know. So, let's just get into it. Uh, today is the 18th of December for me. Uh, December is going by kind of slowly, which is good. Um, still working on Christmas shopping and such. Um, I have a little, couple little family things to go to with Chris, but um, I don't think my family is doing any get together this year because of. COVID and uh, keeping my grandma safe and stuff like that. So let me do know what you're doing down below. Uh, since we are home a lot and uh, Chris, who's my um, boyfriend, partner, whatever you want to call him, <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, got some unexpected time off. So we've been watching a lot of movies, and I thought it would be fun to keep track of those. Um, he's had a lot of COVID case outbreaks at his workplace, um, and because of that, um, so he came in contact with someone who tested positive. He's okay, but uh, his company makes him take 10 days. Uh, away from work unpaid which is really it's a whole nother thing but um yeah so he's been home which has been fun going a little stir crazy because <laughs> oh it is cold here um it's getting in down into the single digits at night and our highs are like 26 with wind so not exactly an outdoor type of you know situation but we're hoping to we got two feet of fluffy snow yesterday on top of the foot that we already got last week so uh, we're hoping that it will warm up enough it's supposed to be 31 tomorrow so if it's sunny and not windy we're hoping to get a little snow showing in um one of the <laughs> issues with having a tiny house as you go a little start crazy so yeah that's that's kind of my life at the moment um just cutting out here this is a star uh that my aunt gave me which i now have hanging in our bathroom which might be a little weird but it looks super cute in there i have a lot of like little green touches going like the decorations on my hand soap are green um, and the star in there is green and my candle was green but now it's orange so you know but that's all right so yeah not a lot of wall space for decoration in our little house, but I like to sneak it in there where I can. And I just love stars, so. And then this was cool. This is an article that I found. I don't remember where it was. Oh, it says it was on CNN. I don't... 
um, it was recommended to me in like a, I have an app that collects articles from a bunch of different places. So, but anyway, it was of the longest photo ever taken. And it was like a, it was an exposure image that somebody, um, put in, I guess she rigged some kind of can device. And this is the, it was a 10 year long photo. And the image shows 2,953 arced trails of the sun as it rose and set uh, during the changing seasons of a decade, which I thought was, it's just super cool. So I wanted to put that in here. Uh, right now I'm just trying to fill holes, really. <laughs> um, I hadn't been taking many photos and then I got like a bunch that I had gathered on my phone. So now, now I am trying to use them. So how are you guys getting along with your, with your December journals? Are you doing one? Um, I'm following a couple challenges. I'm not really doing like a daily thing and I'm not following the challenges to a T, but I'm just kind of, when I sit down to journal, I'm like, what can I pull in? Um, and those two challenges are the Use Your Junk Miss Challenge by Little Creative Life and Sugar Rush 321. And then this prompt uh, from the Art to Witch Academy. Uh, it's like a Yuletide um, prompt thing. So I've been working on those. Um, yeah, this here is the... I like to change the theme on my phone. Um, just if I'm feeling like I need a change, it's just something I do. And this is my current one. So it's kind of fun to like document those and just see the different moods I was in throughout the year, I suppose you could say. Uh, so I really am loving this one. My last one was an alien spaceship which was super cool. It was like animated and the little boy with a trike got like sucked up into a spaceship when you unlocked your phone. It was so cool. Drained the battery, but super cool. <laughs> so there's that. I'll probably do a little bit of paint kind of in the background here to be able to write on because this is a piece of vellum, but I think I'm going to wait on that because you don't need to watch paint dry. Um, yeah, so just little things here and there, you know, doing that, doing that journal thing that I do. Working back and forth, um, no rhyme or reason really to this insert. Um, I made it out of my scrap drawer, so that's been fun. I want to include some of this wrapping paper, which is really cute. I like that it's neutrally. Neutrally? Is that a word? don't know. Ooh, can't cover up those ribs because yum. Could use it as the background over here. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, how am I going to put this in here? It's like Cause it's wrapping paper it's slick so maybe I'll do some tape runner and glue just to like be safe you know it'll definitely stick over here because it's super porous but I'm not sure about the rest where did I oh here we go I'm like I already lost my glue stick I 
haven't really been watching any December videos. I've watched a couple like setup videos, but I don't know. I just kind of got over the December daily thing before the actual documenting even started. Which is kind of sad, but I don't know. It doesn't even feel... It doesn't feel like Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Of course, I'm a Grinch anyway, so... Christmas really isn't my thing to begin with. But... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, and then this bow... I definitely want to put that in there. I already kind of did that. Oh, why is it sticking together? I already kind of did that with this wrapping, but I think we're just going to go buck wild with it and do the same thing again. Or should I do it on this part here? Like so. Um, I don't know. We'll wait and see. This would look good here, though. So we'll stick that there. prompts. I know I can cross off wrapping paper here. Um, still need to do die cuts, maps, oh cards. Yeah, so let's stick in my card. I love let's oh, would have been a great spot but the garland is there could put it here next to the wrapping paper, so why not? And then I think I will just washi tape the card in so we can still read the back. Use these gold bows.
I'm not sure what this is, but it's super cute. And it came with the package. So I'm going to put it on here somewhere. I probably shouldn't put it in the middle because it'll create too much of a big bump. But I feel like this counts as like an enamel dot kind of. I don't have any of those, so although it looks kind of cute there, we're definitely going to do it there because it ties in this color, these colors, which I don't have any of over here. Okay, card. Thoughts. I'm almost done with this. I'm just going to consider those done. It was like an and or thing, so we'll just go with it. I put in washi tape. Fabric, notepad, ribbon, die cut, packaging, map, and recipe. Did I? This is packaging because that came off a of buy bun package. So we're going to call that done. All right. Moving along. Oh, maybe I'll add this little guy. This was a a freebie with the order. So we'll put this in here. It's a little snail crawling up the Christmas tree, which is hilarious. Or is he stringing lights? I don't know. a lot of these in my new setup so she signed yeah she signed the card but no reason I can't reuse the stickers it's a really nice quality gonna have to glue that down a little bit take a little tea break This was a photo of our first snow, and then this is our snow that we got last night. So, I'll kind of put them on the same spread. There will, of course, have to be other things around it, but... Start. 
do them on the edge. Yeah, because then you can see them both. Then we'll use, this is one of my stickers from the Cotton Candy label set. So I'm going to put this here. And then if today's the 18th, that means it was the 17th. I would put the day of the week, but I used them all. I'm just going to, I don't know what will go here, but I'm going to stick this here. My star washi tape strips. And I am running a sale at the moment uh, on all sticker sheets until the first um, of the year. So if you wanted to snag some of those, you can do that. I also made a 2021 setup kit, which I thought I left out to show you, but I didn't. Where is that? Here it is. So. Uh, just a brief intermission. So I made like a sticker kit. So there's 2021s. There's numbers in three different sizes. There's days of the week in various sizes. And then months in various sizes. Um, there's more, but I already used them. It's also available in digital form uh, because my international peeps have been requesting that for quite a while so we finally have that uh, so you can go check that out I'll leave it linked below if you would like all right and now give this our title Awesome. I think I'm going to doodle around this a little. Where's my, my favorite size is the point eight in both white and black gel pens. I always use those. Don't know why it's just, it's like bold, but not too bold. I put um, Tim Holtz, gosh, what's it called? The, now I'm drawing a total blank. Can't tell you what it, what the issue is if I can't remember the name of the product. 
Distressed, no, stress oxides. There we go. That's what they are. Uh, over this painted uh, background that I did for my jelly plate video, and uh, they it like comes off on my fingers, and I'm not, I'm not here for it. It's, it's not cool. <laughs> so I didn't think they would do that, but I guess, guess they do. I don't really like how that came out. I would like to do a better one, but I really can't because the, the distress oxide is going to destroy my pen, which not don't really want to happen obviously so let's see if we can throw some stickers in here can do that it's really really cold outside because that's appropriate it was quite chilly I'm gonna put this here a little too big. Put it there. No. Something needs to go up there. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's got to be something. Do this better bundle up. Oh. Um, oh no. I'll put it up here. Use my dry fingers. Put it there. All right. Stickers saves the day. I'll do some of these socks too. I wanted to write on here, but I think I might have to paint over it. little gifts oh 
Oh, you know what I could do? I could use a notepad. Like it said. To do on the prompt list. And it could be my little journaling space there. I just love these. have which matches this beautifully but I think that one might be it stick this somewhere <laughs> okay this up yes sweet okay Oh, that uh, bulky things on the other side. I was like, why is this not working? There we go. Here's the present sticker. Should have put it down there. down here. And then... This is just like a Tombow's version of a Sharpie which sucks because it does bleed through, but I meant that to be a diamond didn't work out too well, but you know, Fill in some spaces. All right, and then I'll do my journaling on that spot. See, it like totally bleeds through. But that's all right. All right, Land, now let's go back to this page. And do some painting. 
Um, I think we'll do... Let's see, what matches over here? Because we're going to have to mimic... I'm going to do... Let's do the dark green. Start over here. Oops. So, lesson learned. Don't put Distress Oxide Spray over acrylic paint, which I was surprised to find out because you're supposed to be able to use it on like metal and stuff, but if it reacts like that on top of acrylic paint, I would think on top of like metal or plastic or something, it would just do the same thing, like wipe off. I mean, I guess it's not really meant to be touched, But it's by Tim Holtz. You would think he would take the the journaling. He would put it on like a tag and stuff, which I would think he would put in a journal and touch. I don't know. Although I didn't get it wet after. I just sprayed it on. So maybe getting it wet. is what stops it from coming off. I'll have to experiment with that more in a spot where I don't want to write. Just trying to carefully paint around some of these stickers here. It will be cool because the color will be trapped under that clear sticker we already put down. You can tell it's kind of coloring the paint in some spots, which is cool. Hopefully my head's not in the frame this whole time.
we'll just extend it over here. loosely paint it over, leaving the texture and stuff. another layer that we can actually work on top of. I should be putting wax paper in between these so they don't stick together, but... I don't have any over here. I don't even know. I think it's in storage somewhere. Transfer it to this side. Still a little tacky, but not too bad. We'll do our purple paint over here, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. just I don't know what I'm gonna put there but if I'd like to journal about it we'll already have our little foundation and I'll probably end up doodling around these like I did on some of the other pages that you saw but you guys don't need to see the writing and stuff the doodling might be interesting, but I usually do that while I'm waiting for things, like videos like this to export and stuff. So, I think that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you to my patrons for sponsoring today's video. They make what I do possible uh, over here on YouTube to keep sharing with you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate that. I will see you again on New Year's Eve for the Take 5 Art Challenge video, which is very exciting. I'm coming back with those. So, 
good good to be back with that don't forget to check out uh the description box below for the link to my shop in case you'd like to snag some stickers to set up your 2021 journals and planners and with all that being said i will see you guys in my next one take care guys bye